Welcome back, guys. We're back at it with another video. Uh, and today we have the latest update for full self-driving beta 10.6.1. And today we want to actually test out another real world scenario, a more useful scenario for full self-driving other than just aimlessly driving around. And that is going from the airport to your house. So maybe when the world gets back to some sense of normalcy and people start to travel more frequently, uh, one of the common scenarios, at least for us, was that we had to travel uh, in different places and catch airplanes and come from the airport and then get back home. As a, and as opposed to getting a, a Lyft or an Uber or a taxi or whatever the case may be, we would sometimes park the car in the lot, let it sit, and then come back and, and be able to drive it back. So here we are at the airport. And what we want to do is we want to basically see what full self-driving can do for us in terms of alleviating the burden of having to then drive back home, whether you caught a red eye or just a long flight, you're tired of sort of sitting and you just want to relax and get back home, but you want to be in the comfort of your own car. And that's the scenario we're looking at today. So stay tuned. All right, so we're driving back home from the airport, testing out full self-driving beta 10.6.1. And I'm not really gonna focus on zero disengagements. I think that's unrealistic at this point in time. But what I am gonna look for is just the level of comfort that the car gives me in driving me or carrying the load of driving me back home, okay? And that's what we're really gonna look for. So one thing I've done here is I've activated one-click activation for full self-driving, a little nervous, doesn't know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. One ding for it right there. And I've also activated, waiting for a car to come. I've also activated the voice guidance just to give me a little bit of a heads up. As I talked about one of the features that makes full self-driving great, or that would make full self-driving a little bit better, speed up a little bit here is being able to have voice guidance for the car to tell you what it intends to do. So I'm gonna use the voice navigation as a little bit of an aid here in that regard. It says stay straight, but it gets into the right lane. And I wanna see the difference between I want to see the difference between what the voice navigation says versus what the car actually does and see what that disparity is. I think there is a little bit of a disconnect. Taking us pretty good. Visibility is pretty clear. Lines are pretty clear here. They just redid this road here. So this is really good. So one of the one of the more confusing roadways in America, uh, but specifically in the Northeast, is navigating around airports because roads tend to funnel around airports to try to make it as accessible as possible. So being able to get out of there, especially at night or if you've never been there before, is always a challenging scenario. Hard braking here. So full self driving will come in real handy to be able to get you out of uh, an airport, especially one that you're not too familiar with. But again, maybe you're local too especially at night, driving you home when you're pretty much fatigued and tired. Not so much that you're gonna fall asleep, but just so much that you want someone to be able to do the heavy lifting, but you don't wanna be a stranger. You want it to be somewhere familiar. You want it to be you know, your own car, maybe the wife and kids, or maybe your partner and kids are asleep at the house. And you don't wanna wake them up. You have your car in the lot and you wanna be able to take it back home. But again, you want full self driving to carry some of that load for you just to make it as easy as possible. So aside from the little hiccup in the beginning where it needed to sort of merge, uh, it's doing pretty good so far. I'll let the voice navigation guide us do the rest. I won't do too much talking on this one.
And I'll hold the, the yoke a little bit differently today just, um, just to give you a sense of what the car is really doing so you don't, people don't just assume that I'm just driving because I have my hand on the wheel. I'll keep it compliant, I'll keep my eyes on the road, but I'll just hold it a little bit differently just so it's clear what the car is doing versus you know anything that I might be doing for those who are, again, uninitiated. Looks like it's requiring a lot more pressure to make the automatic lane changes now. Uh, before it was sort of the same amount of pressure that was needed to keep the system compliant, but now it seems it, it needs a little bit more pressure uh, in that regard, which is good. I think a safety feature, I think it's good. I also have the speed limit set to the limit just to be safe, specifically when we get to local roads, that's the more comfortable setting as opposed to going faster than the limit, which can get a little unnerving depending on your tolerance for, you know, the, the car driving at that particular speed. Exit coming up. I'll be at the ready. Pretty aggressive, but not terrible. A little bit of pressure here. Yielding to the right. Let's see what happens. Should put its signal on. It's getting awfully close to the wall. You hear the rocks kicking up. Not good. So not good. Can't get over, and it was going scarily close to the wall. So Tesla, we need to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and pop that into the... Uh, Autopilot recordings here. I'll resume. I did a single click. Uh, I'll resume here. Let's see what the turning looks like on this 10.6.1. Uh, but that's definitely not good. When you have that dotted line that sort of merges into a wall, the car kind of wanted to go straight into the wall, which is not cool. Let's see what happens here. Goes wide for the turn. I don't like going wide for turns, but that wasn't terrible much more composed, much more smooth uh, coming out of that turn, not just aggressively jamming on the accelerator. So I definitely like that. Some windy mountain roads here. Let's see how it takes these. I'll be at the ready just in case, as always. Tough turn here. It's going to be a little bit of a blinking yellow light turn. Let it just do its thing. Very good, much better on the turns, Tesla. Much better on the turns. I feel much more confident with these turns in this particular iteration. It's not, a, it's not uh, as squirrely or herky-jerky as it typically is, and it's coming out of the turn nice and composed and not accelerating rapidly, sort of scaring you. So far, so good. It's a light day today, traffic-wise, so I'm not as on it as I typically would be, because I know a lot, a lot of people are out today. Uh, but I am at the ready. I am at the ready. Hands are at the ready. In case you can't see with a lot of sun coming through. These are sort of uh, suburban country type roads, if you will. 
different than what we've done before. A little bit tighter. A lot nicer houses, by the way, as well. For those that uh, ask in the comments. A little bit of force here. Keep it compliant. Eyes are at the ready. Blinking yellow light. Let's see how it handles this. It never does good at blinking yellow lights. And it did. Wow. Straight through. Another good one. Blinking yellow light for the win. Nice and slow. Was able, was ready to sort of break if needed, but it went through nice and slow. Excellent job so far, Tesla, with some of these repeat cases that we have here. These bars look a little funky. Okay, did a good job getting through there. Wow, I'm very impressed right now. It had some issues, it still has some issues, but I'm very impressed with some of the repeat stuff, going through those little, those little metal poles, making turns, double yellow lights, sees the FedEx truck, slows down a little bit, sees the pedestrian, visualize there. I'm sure the Audi behind me and the rest of the cars are pretty upset that I'm driving the limit, but hey, we're gonna do what we need to do to be safe. Okay, some rocks here. A little jumpy here. I don't want to go faster than this. I apologize for people behind me. Just doesn't feel as comfortable. And I have to turn left here. Let's see what happens on the left turn. Very good. Very good. Oh my, that was much better. A little herky in the beginning, a little jerky in the beginning, but it composed itself and continued the turn as it should. Much better. And these are some pretty challenging roads, especially at night. Lots of animals come out around here. Stop sign coming up. Let's we'll see what happens. We can take our turn. All right, let's it go our turn. And now we're going straight through. Oh, wonderful. This is confidence inspiring. Forget zero disengagements, I can disengage all day, no problem. But the level of confidence that the car gives me as the driver or as the operator, that's what matters to me. Just like if a teenager was driving, I want, I want to feel comfortable when that teenager is driving. And that's what I'm feeling right here now with full self-driving beta 10.6.1. Much improved. Good job, Tesla, so far. Little, little jerky, doesn't know how to react to that car. I'm going to give it some acceleration just to give it some confidence. Makes the turn and goes forward. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. I'll wait till, I'll wait till we get to the end. A little too close to the edge. You hear the debris kicking up in the, in the uh, wheel wells. Don't necessarily like that. Again, winding roads. Got to be aggressive here. No line, no lane markings. Left is taking its time. Seems a little, a little hesitant. We have to watch out for these gutters here as well. Did a good job there. Ugh, very challenging stuff here with these roads and the conditions and the gutters. Oh, the tree. Don't go into the gutter. Okay. Okay, good job. All right. Perfect, comes to a stop and we're at the house. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a U-turn here. But uh, so far, excellent job, Tesla. Excellent job, Tesla, for uh, effectively delivering on 10.6.1. Hopefully those who didn't get 10.6, who didn't get 10.6, will be able to take advantage of it. Uh, but effectively, this is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good, uh, especially for the areas where it struggled before. This is uh, pretty, pretty solid. So Tesla, you did a good job here. Let me know if you got 10.6 or if you got 10.6.1, what you think about it? What, what do you think uh, about the latest update? How does it perform compared to other updates that you may have gotten? If you skipped over 10.6 and 10.6.1 is the first one you've gotten from 10.5 or if the first one you've gotten from a public 35 or 40 release, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about the latest update. Until the next time, enjoy your day, enjoy your Tesla.